Welcome to the Chick Bone News Network. We hear all breaking news first. I got a story right here that is just it's just horrible. I mean, there's no other words to describe it. Uh, it's just horrible. Uh, these thugs that are running these streets out here that we see in every single day causing all this havoc, uh, hurting people, killing people, shooting, stabbing, running them over, stealing from people. This, this story right here is just awful, and I had to bring it to y'all. If y'all think we're all alike, keep on thinking that. All right, all right, check this out. He broke into a Detroit home in the early morning hours, armed with a tree branch. Good to have you with us at 11. The man who lives there says he was sleeping when all of a sudden he was attacked inside his own home on the city's west side. He spoke with our Pamela Osborne tonight, who joins us live. And Pam, how's he doing tonight? Well, Kimberly, he's in pretty good spirits. Today is actually his birthday, and he says that he is feeling better. But you can imagine this attack happened back on July 9th. He is still in the hospital tonight, and he wants the person responsible in jail. I couldn't, could not walk back up. I have bruises on my arms. I'm like... Stephen Kabolka speaking to us from his hospital bed Wednesday night after becoming the victim of a brutal assault in his own home. I was sleeping, then all of a sudden I heard like a, a big crash. The book, the, the front side door came in and attacked me and started beating me with a stick. A hidden surveillance camera on his home at Asbury Park and Diversity Street show a man with a large tree branch kick his way in to Stephen's home. As the beating went on, he says his attacker told him what he was after. He, did, he, he wanted some suboxone and uh, then he beat me some more. Then he left. After he, he crossed the kitchen, the bathroom window, and the other room. Stephen was able to call for help. His attacker got away. And Stephen is now focused on his recovery. Tomorrow he's going to be able to leave the hospital, but he is going to have to go to a rehab facility until he's well enough to go back home on his own. As for the person responsible, police are still looking for that person. So if you have any information at all, give Detroit police a call. Reporting live tonight at Beaumont Hospital, I'm Pamela Osborne, Local 4. Remarkable.